I cannot believe you. What is it now? I know I forgot to tell you something. I forgot to tell you that I used your credit card today. Sorry about that. You put someone in the hospital? How could I have not known about this? I mean, sure, I humiliated a bunch of kids in high school. What's the problem? Everyone does it. The problem is that they're pressing charges. Okay, okay. I see how this can be pretty bad. In some ways. But I have nothing to do with it. Trust me, I would know. Well, obviously, you don't know. Because if you knew, you wouldn't be here, would you? Actually, you probably would. I wouldn't be that surprised. What do you mean, you wouldn't be that surprised? I don't hate that many people. I mean, if I got someone in the hospital, I would be visiting them right now. But I didn't get anyone inside the hospital. Can you at least tell me who it is before just yelling at me? They probably have the wrong number. Okay, fine. So Brooke Sanders and her parents have the wrong number? I doubt it. Every time you come home, you talk about some girl named Brooke, and I'm willing to bet her last name is also Sanders. <sighs> I knew you were cruel, but not this cruel. Diamond, I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I'm probably going to have to turn you into the police, and if I don't, I'm going to go to jail, so there's that. Wait, I put Brooke in the hospital? Yes, you put Brooke in the hospital. How naive can you be? Don't ask that question. You might not get the right answer. How did I put her in the hospital? She was poisoned. Ring a bell? No, 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 no. That poison wasn't even real poison. It was just supposed to stun her, you know? Make her throw up a little bit? Probably on somebody? Make it embarrassing. Not land her in the hospital. So you admit to it? I was really hoping for a second that my daughter wasn't a monster. Mom, it's not like that. I didn't mean to put her in the hospital. It's not like I wanted this. Not like you wanted this? You talk about her almost every day, talking about how she ruined your life. This looks horrible, and if I were a judge, I would sentence you to life in prison. If you were... Of age, of course. But becoming a young killer is not something you want on your resume. It's not something to be proud of or anything you want on your permanent records. Mom, believe me, I didn't even mean to just save it, okay? I'm tired of hearing your excuses. Go to the hospital and apologize. That might not do anything, but hopefully they count the little things as what matters most. But, Mom, I... I didn't mean to do it. What time is it? It's late. Probably too late. Too late for what? I'm not late for an appointment. Crap, am I? Ow. Dixie, get up. Fair point. See ya. Sometimes I wonder how we're even friends. Gladys? I do for you, ma'am. Get me an outfit. Something that says I'm sorry and something pink. And make it fast. I don't have all day. Of course. Oh, and may I ask what the occasion might be for? Put someone inside the hospital. I'd rather not talk about it now. Or really at all. Right away, ma'am. Ugh. Did I hear that correctly? Hear what? Hear that you put someone out of the hospital? Who was it? And how? It was no one. No one important. They're obviously important if you're listening to what your mom said by going to the hospital to apologize. I was half awake, so I couldn't really hear anything. I think she said something about Brooke? Oh, <gasps> You didn't! I didn't what? Kill Brooke Sanders! I mean... It makes total sense. Why would I waste my time on a worthless flea bag like her? Because she had something that you wanted. Something that you wanted really badly and something that you would do anything for. Even if it means killing someone. I didn't kill anyone. If you know for a fact that you didn't kill her, why are you going to the hospital to apologize? Only guilty people apologize for something that they know they did was wrong. Are you seriously getting upset about this? I mean, it has nothing to do with you. 
I can't understand why you're so hooked on this. Because I don't want to be living with somebody that might be a killer. Let alone my best friend that might be a killer. Okay? Oh, come on, Dixie. You've been acting stupid for half your life. Don't act stupid now. And now you're insulting me? You know what? I thought we were best friends. I thought we were even more than that. Sisters, even. I guess I was wrong. I don't want to be friends or acquaintances with a murderer. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. Just hadn't had the guts to. We're done. I'm done being your sister, your friend, your acquaintance, or whatever it's called, okay? I'm just done with you and with this drama it has nothing to do with me never did never will Ugh, Dixie come on we know your little pea brain can't make up decisions like that my pea brain you really don't believe me huh no I don't you're talking like you're all of a sudden normal or even smart which I don't believe is happening but you sound completely different there's nothing to talk about diamond that's what you need to get inside of your little pink brain. There's nothing to talk about. Never was and never will be. And that whole voice I was putting on was just an act. You seem to like it and that's all that mattered to me. Okay? But you're showing sides of you that I didn't even know existed. And I don't even know if I want to be called your friend. Dixie? Oh, she'll be back. They're always back. I can't bear to see a little girl in the hospital. I think it's time for us to go. First it was us and now it's her. See you kids around. Keep her safe. I'll be back soon, sweetie. Mommy loves you. Keep her safe, guys. What in dog's name are you doing here? I'm here because I come to apologize. I didn't mean to put her inside the hospital. It was just supposed to be a hoax, or she would drink it, throw up on somebody, and be embarrassed. Not be in the hospital. Do you have any idea what you've put us through? We could lose her because of you. You have to understand that that was not my intentions. Oh, right, because just making her throw up on somebody for one time and not laying her inside the hospital was your intentions. Like, I could believe that. How did you get in here? We made it family only? If that were the case, how did the cat get in here? She's obviously not blood related. Stop trying to change the subject. You put our best friend inside the hospital. You did this. Now leave. I come here to apologize and all I get is kicked out? What did you expect to happen? You put our best friend in danger. Nearly killing her. And you expect us to just... I'll forgive you? Thanks to you, I probably won't even have a best friend after this. The best you can do is leave. Nobody wants to see your face ever again. So just, just leave. You weren't wanted here in the first place. I didn't have to come here, you know. I could have stayed in my rich house with my rich mom and my rich phone and just bought stuff off of eBay or something. Actually, no. That's where people sell their old stuff. But, you know what I mean. I do. But I don't care. Just go. Fine, I'll, I'll leave. Just know I'm sorry and tell Brooke I am too. Sorry I even came. I feel horrible. I mean, all Diamond wanted to do was apologize, right? I'm going outside. And that is why Abraham Lincoln is one of the best presidents.
What? Staring is rude, you know. Miss Brown, nice of you to join us. Even if you are 30 minutes late. <laughs> Just be happy I'm here, old man. Now, where do I sit? Take a seat next to Hazel. Um, no thanks. Is that seat taken? Mm, no, my partner didn't show up today. Perfect. <sighs> Anyways. Ugh, this class is so boring, right? Ugh, just because you sit next to me doesn't mean you have to talk to me. I know, but what if I want to talk to you? And too bad, because I also want a good grade. <laughs> Playing hard to get. I like it. Okay, now for a history project, you guys are gonna have to partner up. But because of how hectic it was last time when I let you guys choose partners, I'm gonna be choosing them for you. Miley, you're with Pig Little there. Huh? What? Are you kidding me? Hey, look, I'm not all stoked to be with you either. Ugh, see what I have to deal with now? So annoying. Cody, you're with Sandra. Ah, oh, what? Yeah, right back at you, Sandra. Avery? Can't believe I'm saying this, but... You're the blondie over there. Actually, <laughs> Professor, or whatever your name is, um, I would like to be partners with Dylan here. You see, if I really cared, I would have had you guys partners. But because I don't care, you're with Blondie. <laughs> I understand. Yay, you were partners! <laughs> hey, Abe! And that just leaves Hazel and Dylan. What? No, that isn't, no, uh, ugh. Now everyone, please partner up with your partners and start talking about what you're gonna be doing for this project. I'll go over where Hazel is so you and your partner can sit here. Ugh. Hey partner! So, what president are we gonna be looking at? I was thinking we could possibly do Shakira. Cause you know, she's a president that can sing. <laughs> Good? Shakira wasn't even a president. So, how have you been? You mean ever since my best friend comes out of the hospital? Not all that great. I'm sorry about that by the way. <laughs> sorry? Why are you sorry? You had no part in it. I know, but I feel like I could have done something to stop it, you know? Yeah. I guess I do.